quick update video of the device. Uh, I built a larger one. Um, it's much more powerful, much better range. The wireless power effects got better. Um, sorry it took such a long time to send this video. Been extremely busy, like insanely busy. So this light is li literally just from a rectifier. One wire going to earth ground right here. This and this isn't doing anything. This is running these wireless lights up here. I just keep it clipped here so it doesn't swing in the way. So this bulb is literally being run from, from the earth ground and just sitting in proximity to the transmitter. Really good wireless power. Incredibly good. <clears throat> Look inside. This is constructed on 2 inch diameter PVC. L1, 1 inch long, 8 AWG. And it's four turns. I just went by length, it's one inch long. And the secondary is 32 AWG, four inches long. And the L3 is 18 AWG at two inches long. And this circuitry, which comes off of the L1, is just simple two diodes. One going forward, one going reverse. Hopefully you can see that. That's literally all it is off the L1. And that can run a powerful load, a 120 volt load, at like 1 amp. Pretty impressive. And I'll disconnect the load. The power consumption drops a little bit, but not much. Plug it on, it lights up. Once again, I'll disconnect the load. And I just added some capacitors. Those capacitors were 630. No, I have them. I'll, go, I'll show them. Hold on. Oh, and we still have wireless power, too. Like, extreme range. Um... That was a five sixty nanofarad four hundred volt. It was this one. So anyway, all these effects are occurring. Still have incredible wireless power. Breakthrough technology. Shut my light off so you can see that. <clears throat> I haven't released this video yet because I was keeping, I wasn't advertising that circuitry too much, which is dead simple and it works. So you're seeing that. That's literally all it is. And the diodes off that can be UF4007 or the more powerful version, which I'll show you in a minute. The range is incredible. thing I noticed is when it used to have the antenna, it would overvolt the diodes and blow them. So the antenna kind of isn't needed anymore if you use the correct diode. Still got these little things lighting up. You can take one of these, touch it to anything metal and it will light up. Lights up. Like that's remarkable technology and it's very bright. Sometimes they glow even just getting close to metal now. Like it just keeps improving. And a bucket of water lights up. Like it's insane. And I don't get zapped by that in any way. Because it's high frequency to my chair. All the receiver that's lit. I touch this to my metal closet and look how bright that gets. Absolutely impressive technology. And the diode that's coming off of the, and the diodes you can use to make that circuit that's running the bright white light, 
is one of these. It's a U. Uh, what is it? Hold on. It's a UF two thousand. I'll just tell you what it is. It's a UF. 2008. UF 2008 and UF 4007. I'd recommend the two, UF 2008 because it can handle more current. So. so 28 watts on the transmitter. I would like to get power consumption down even lower. Uh, I have a 1 watt resistor on there and a reverse polarity protection diode as well so hopefully you can see that those are the I just have two UF 2008 diodes coming off the L1 and that's what runs the light bulb with with those four capacitors and I'll show that it can run this motor pretty well too I'm just gonna turn my light on up here so I can see so I'll hook the motor up and it will run the motor. There we go. So it's running a motor and we still have wireless power. Another thing that does occur is when it runs the motor, my input power drops by a lot. And the wireless power doesn't isn't as effective, but it's still there. It's it really likes running lights rather than motors for some reason. Disconnect. Connect my bright light up again. You can see there's sparks coming off it. Pretty decent output. Like that's house power that's coming out. Back up, ba boom. Now I wouldn't recommend running this over 30 volts DC, um, because then what happens is you can end up blowing the transistors ground. But yeah, still, this is a breakthrough. And this bulb literally just lights. Cool, huh? Yeah, that's all I wanted to show.